What a reception. Four Americans make history as Inspiration4 lands safely back on Earth, the first all-civilian crew to circle the Earth from space. They spent three days in orbit, at times traveling 17,000 miles an hour. Such <laughs> an interesting group there in space. They yeah. included a childhood cancer survivor, mm -hmm. a geologist, and a Lockheed Martin employee who actually won the sea in a raffle. Wow, clearly in good spirits yes, too they as, happy. as they splash Safe. down there. NBC's Lester Holt sat down for an exclusive interview with the crew fresh off their incredible journey to space. Show of hands, who would still rather be up there? <laughs> really? That last view of the Earth and the cupola made me emotional. Wow. Because it was just so awe-inspiring and I knew I'd be thinking about that for the rest of my life. They've been back on Earth for just over a day, but the crew of Inspiration4 is already missing that spectacular view from space. Our name is Inspiration, and, and to be able to capture that view and to bring it back to Earth is special. I feel this sense of awe. And the historic all-civilian space crew blasted off last Wednesday. After training with SpaceX for six months, the team spent three days orbiting the Earth, more than 300 miles from the planet. Each of us have been changed in a way that maybe we didn't expect. And for me, it was being able to see the Earth in a way that made me realize there is so much to see in person that I need to go and find those places and explore more. Dr. Cyan Proctor piloted the mission, becoming the first black woman to serve as a spacecraft pilot. Being able to talk to, you know, girls of color and women of color about my experience and even older women who sometimes when you think that, you know, the best part of your life has passed you by as you've gotten older, that there's still a lot to learn and a lot to explore and a lot to do. You wanted to be an astronaut for a very long time. You applied uh, at NASA, got into the finals at one point, but didn't make it. How sweet is it? It's just amazing. This is the best way that I could ever imagine going to space with these individuals in this way with SpaceX. I'm, I'm thrilled. Technology entrepreneur and billionaire Jared Isaacman paid for the trip and served as the mission's commander. Where can this be taken, uh, this whole idea of, of putting non-professional astronauts in space? And I think if it's, if, if, you know, orbital spaceflight is just the exclusive domain of a, a couple of countries and, and the select few, I don't know, I don't know how far we're, we're going to get. Um, so I think having organizations like, like SpaceX that are working very hard to drive down the cost of spaceflight to make it more accessible for others so that all of us can go out and journey among the stars. Isaacman used the trip to help fundraise millions of dollars for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, where 29-year-old Haley Arsenault works as a physician's assistant after surviving pediatric cancer herself as a child. Haley, did you have any idea how much you were inspiring people here on Earth? No, <laughs> and I, I, that's hard for me to wrap my head around because, um, I think of myself as an ordinary person, but I hope that people can relate to me. But isn't that the point? You are an ordinary person? Yes, I that, am. That, isn't that the appeal of all this? Yes. I've had some difficulties in life, but I think everyone has in some way. I think everyone has had to overcome something. And I just, I hope that people can look at my story and, and know that holding on to hope that there will be better days is so important. I have goosebumps. Yeah, uh, I individually, think so, I think it's so appropriate that it's called inspiration for. No because doubt. I, I am inspired. I am moved, yeah. and I am just in awe of this crew. And each of their stories yeah. is incredible. And then together to bond the four mm. of them through that experience. They said everything was flawless, <laughs> except one little glitch with the facilities, the restroom facilities. They uh, didn't go into detail about that, but yeah. they say it was absolutely awe-inspiring. Yeah.